Oh my god, what of you guys? <laughs> Welcome. Oh my god. <laughs> Sup? How you sexy guys doing? Uh, basically, I, uh, I expect you had kind of forgotten about this. Because <laughs> as it so happens, I, um, I said I was going to do this ages ago, I know, and I let it slip a bit because I've been really busy and on holiday and procrastinating and stuff. Because uh, <laughs> I'm a bit of a lazy, a bit of a lazy scoundrel. But welcome to Dishonored. Oh my god, finally. I know, right? Oh my god. So, um, I said I was going to do this ages ago, and I'm finally doing the playthrough, so hell yeah! Welcome to Dishonored. It's going to be one hell of a ride. Very hard mode. <laughs> I'm going to get my anus pulverized twice. It's going to be great. Uh, not, not for me. Possibly for you guys. Brightness. No, 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 it's not. I want to be able to see what I'm doing. That works. Fine. Yeah. Cool. Um, so, how you guys been doing? It's been ages. And, um, yeah, I'm really happy <laughs> that we're finally getting to do this. So, welcome to this walkthrough. I imagine it's going to be, I'm going to say 15 parts. 15 parts. Each part's going to be like 15 minutes. Maybe. <laughs> This one's going to be a bit shorter because I'm actually kind of late to do something. But uh, I'll shut up during the cutscenes. Corvo, if only there was someone else I trusted to send, so that you could remain near. But there is no one else. And the Spymaster was right to insist that I send you. The plague has taken so many, and we must find a cure. When you are near, my heart is at peace. Emily and I will count the days until you return. Hurry home and bring good news. Alright, so that's the introduction. You've probably gathered what we have to do. We've just come back trying to find a cure for the plague, which has been uh, terrorizing the city for a long time now. And uh, as far as I can remember, we don't bring good news. <laughs> it sucks. Um, so we're the Empress's bodyguard, I guess. And. Uh, there's, there's a plot twist pretty early on in the game. We don't stare as a bodyguard for long. It gets pretty interesting. But yeah, this is a semi-blind playthrough. So I have actually played the game once before. Uh, but there are two endings. And each ending you have to play very differently to get. I've got the good ending, I guess. Which uh, you have to play pretty stealthy to get that. But today we're going to be trying to get the bad endings. Um, or the different ending, I guess. Where you have to go around killing everyone. Everyone in sight, because <laughs> I figured that'd be a lot funner to film. <laughs> but we're doing it on very hard. I've only played this game on hard before, not very hard. So my anus is ready to be obliterated. <laughs> no lube, <laughs> going hardcore. But uh, it should be fun for you guys. You get to watch me get my ass pulverized and handed on a plate to me. It's gonna like it's gonna be like being in prison. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I am pretty, pretty psyched for this. No, not getting my anus handed to me, but uh, more, more killing everyone. Because <laughs> you get some super cool powers in this game, and the last time I played, I was annoyed as hell because I couldn't use them, because I was trying not to kill people when I, when I had all these cool powers that I could use, and ah, uh, it sucked. But this time, we're going ham. So let's just follow this dude, his, uh, his sexy trench coat. His name is Jeff. Sup, Jeff? Great party last night. I, I noticed you didn't invite me, douchebag. Yes, yes. Uh, so yeah, you can you can hold L3 to sprint. And this is the Empress's Hello, daughter, I think. She's really cute. That's the one thing that I'm gonna really regret about playing this game like super violent is that it actually changes her behavior as to how it would normally be, and she goes like insane, goes a bit psycho. Um, which sucks, because uh, I'm. That's gonna be a bit heartbreaking, because she's a real character, okay, this girl. Here we go. But we gotta do what we gotta do, you know. And that means <laughs> kicking all kinds of ass. But the characters in this game are really deep. I really love them. They're super awesome. Like you can tell how much time and patience has been put into their personalities. Even just with NPC guards, 
you hate having to kill them because you you can, you when you're stealthing it, you're just listening to their conversations and they're so human. They're just looking forward to going back home, having a whiskey and hitting the hay, you know. So if, if you feel kind of bad when you have to take them out. But um, we, are, we are an assassin, so I guess <laughs> that comes with the job, you know. Alright, so this is stealth mode, which uh, people can't see you in. And you can lean out to get a better view and perspective of what's going on in the world uh, without the enemy seeing you. So if you're leaning in stealth mode, enemies cannot detect you, but you can see them, which is really useful. I know it doesn't make much logical sense, but this this is a Bethesda game, okay? And <laughs> they made Skyrim. The games aren't mo um, their games aren't supposed to make sense. They're supposed to be fun. <laughs> I goddamn, this is my favorite game. It's, it, I like it more than Storm Three. There, I said it. I said it. <laughs> Done. <laughs> I love this game, man. Um, so yeah, we're just playing hide and seek right now. <laughs> we win. Now I'm a mature person, so I like to celebrate my victories in a dignified passion. Uh, digni passion? What? A dignified fashion. So in your face, teabag. <laughs> oh yeah, you can slide as well by doing this, which is <laughs> epic. Bana bana bana. Singing a little song. I'm sure you are, girl. You sing that song. So now we're off to see the Empress, who's uh pretty fine. That's not the Empress. That's a nerd. Home, He's painting a picture of this dude who's an asshole. Um, Stop moving, he's gonna cause us a lot of trouble. Corvo, Just throwing it out there. But I love the atmosphere in this game. The plagues taking over everyone's lives, and you can really feel that just ordinary people are having to really survive. They're having to dig out a living, knowing that every second their lives could be in jeopardy. And their children, their families, everything they hold dear could be destroyed from them. And it really, it really creates an atmosphere of survival. How the human nature just continues to survive, you know? No matter what the circumstances, we want to live. And that game really projects that. In both good and bad ways. You have people who are really holding on and never giving up to survive. And others who are just taking everything away from innocent people to better themselves. So, welcome to this tale of tragedy, betrayal, and friendship. Uh, this is Dishonored. What up? <laughs> and that is the Empress. As you wish, she, she's a mighty fine lady in all senses of the word. What up? I don't, I don't trust you. Corporal. Would you trust this guy? To Look at his hand movements. He's like Gok Wan. Hands are going all over the place. I'm gesturing right now, and I just realized that I'm an idiot. You guys can't, you guys can't actually see me fazzing about like a retard, <laughs> like a noob. It's a fair wind. That would you trust the guy who just jumps in front of you? What I wouldn't. What up? All right, give her the letter. It's a time of great sorrow and tragedy, and everyone's really poor because of the plague. But somehow this girl can still afford eyeshadow. I do not understand that. Having a bit of a rave. You can probably hear my controller spazzing out. <laughs> um. All right, guys. I'm gonna have to end it here. Um. Because we've already been going for 10 minutes. So, um, yeah, this is an introduction to Dishonored. The missions will kick off right after this. And, um, touching mother and daughter moment here. And, oh my god, guards are gone. Look at that. Oh my god, it's ass kicking a clock. I'll see you in the next part, guys. Let's do this.